operate, actualize the principle of Ujima if we are mathematically illiterate. Now, in Ujima, it is collective work. What happens when one person or an individualistic perspective is brought about? Then you only get one mind, one perspective, one attitude. But when you take that one mathematically and put another one next to it, then you go from one to 11. When you take that 11 and put another one next to it, you go from 11 to 111. And when you add another one next to it, you got a 1,111. So notice the more we come together collectively in actualizing this principle, the more power we achieve. Now what is power? Power is work divided by time. Which means the more work you and I do in less time, the more power we have. Now does everybody in here want some power? So if we want power, then that means we should want to collectively work together. Because when one person works, you don't get as much done as when a collective body works, giving you and I more power. There's more power in a hundred than ten. There's more power in a, in a thousand than a hundred. So we must all mathematically work together in order to actualize this principle. Now the principle of Ujima says to come together co collectively to do some work. What work must we do? We have to become manufacturers. We have to become business owners. We have to become farmers and nation builders. And guess what? You can't do any of that without mathematics. The most optimized Muhammad stated that a people who do not know mathematics will always, always be subject to a people that do. It is not a coincidence we are finding ourselves at the bottom because we are not mathematically powerful like we once were. Now whatever our problems are, there is a mathematical approach to solve. We have to master mathematics so we can think critically, so we can analyze, problem solve, verify, and validate all the things that affect our community and us as a nation. And last but not least, one other aspect of Ujima is responsibility. Now we as men, black men, have a responsibility. We have a responsibility to, to, to secure, protect, elevate, and magnify our elders, our women, and our children. Well, brothers, one way we can do that is to become mathematically powerful and mathematically astute. We have to become builders, producers, Investors, entrepreneurs, engineers, scientists, inventors, and innovators in order to secure our future, our children, and our women. So as I leave you, let us remember, as I borrow this phrase from one of my favorite characters on Star Trek, Dr. Spock, who said that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Up, you mighty nation. You can accomplish what you will. Let us get our math on and raise our people up on the planet Earth. Thank you.